When Baseball America ranked the Raging Cajuns 14th in their preseason poll, it was the school's highest ranking to start a season ever. And while the Raging Cajuns are happy to get some national respect, now comes the task of justifying those lofty expectations. Well, that's definitely a compliment being ranked 14th, but uh, you know, it's only the only eight get into the College World Series, and that's one of our goals. It's great. You know, we never had this before, uh, no preseason anything. But uh, like you said, you can't look too much into it because we haven't really done much yet. We haven't done anything yet. Uh, but at the same time, it's good to know people expect things out of us, and we just have to live up to those expectations. Everybody be lying when opening day starts on the 14th, if not, if not every player's talking about Omaha. I mean, that's your ultimate goal here, but only eight people are going. 297 are just going to try. So it's not an easy thing to do. The reason for high hopes in Acadiana, the team is returning eight of nine regular position players from last year's 43-20 and 20 regional team, including Conference Player of the Year Caleb Adams along with four other all Sun Belt selections. It's a lineup a year ago that batted 317 and belted 74 home runs. It's a big deal because, I mean, even our pitchers, whenever they throw against us, they, they know our weaknesses in hitting and they know our strengths, but still they go up there and they have to remain calm, which is hard because, I mean, we have such a good lineup and, and we all swing the bat really hard. And the greatest thing about this lineup that I like is that, you know, there's not a lot of holes in it because that's what makes a lineup. Just having two good hitters in a lineup doesn't make a good lineup. I mean, you've got to get it one through nine where we had it last year to where there was no easy innings off for the pitcher. While the returning bats are cause for optimism, the returning arms should have Cajun fans downright giddy. All three weekend starters return, headlined by Austin Robichaux, who went 9-2 and two last season. We like to call it the three-headed monster. Uh, us three on the weekend, me, Carson, and uh, Greg. But what helps us a lot is building our bullpen. You know, our bullpen is going to be solid this year. The big key for this is we've got some experience in now on the weekend. That's what's helping us. We've got some experience coming in at the back end of the game on weekends. The difference now is, is to win more than 43 games, you got to be able to take care of the midweek games. And to do that, that's where the next six, seven, eight arms come in. The Raging Cajuns have only made two super regional appearances in their history, and their one and only appearance in the College World Series was in 2000. So these players know how big it would be if they could get back to Omaha. Oh, it'd be crazy, you know, and uh, Lafayette deserves that, and we're going to do our best to give them. It would mean probably the world to our fans because we have the best fan base, or in my opinion, I think we do. Either win or lose, they, they're right behind us. And to go to Omaha, it'd be awesome because we haven't been there since 2000. But 100%, I think we can get there this year. So they have dreams of painting Omaha red, and they know that they have the team to get there. The national media likes their chances for a big season. Now the Raging Cajuns just have to prove them right. In Lafayette, Paul Boron for CST Tonight.